Welcome back to CBS This Morning. Two Cleveland police officers will not face federal charges in the shooting death of 12-year-old Tamir Rice, an encounter that helped galvanize the Black Lives Matter movement. Video from the November 2014 incident shows Officer Timothy Lohman shooting Rice seconds after Lohman and Officer Frank Garnback arrived on scene. Rice was holding a pellet gun. The officers say they mistook the toy for a real gun. We spoke to the boy's mother, who says her son deserves justice. So I'm just appalled right now and disappointed and hurt. Samaria Rice says the Justice Department's decision to not prosecute the officers for her son Tamir Rice's death is inexcusable and unjust. I should have an indictment and a conviction for my 12-year-old son. The 2014 shooting was caught on camera outside a Cleveland Recreation Center. A 911 caller had alerted police about a, quote, guy pointing a gun at people and said the person was probably a juvenile and the gun was probably fake. That information was never transmitted to the officers who responded. One opened fire on 12-year-old Rice seconds after they arrived. In statements following the shootings, both officers said they thought Rice was pulling out a real gun from his waistband and claimed they gave him multiple commands to show his hands. In a statement Tuesday, the Justice Department said prosecutors found insufficient evidence to support federal criminal charges against the officers. They say the video is grainy, shot from a distance, adding that Tamir's hands are not visible during the relevant time. It was clear as day to me. My son was scared when they rolled up on him. They didn't even give him a chance to respond. Rice's lawyer, Sabod Chandra, says the video tells the whole story. He rushed upon a child, got out of the car, and fired his weapon immediately. And you can tell that from the video. There's no pausing, there's no deliberation, there's no calling out warnings, there's nothing. Fight back! Fight back! In 2015, a state grand jury also declined to indict the officers sparking protests around the country. The Rice family, not only have they lost a child, which is bad enough, but they have been deprived of a fair process time and again. America will never give me no closure for any other family that has to go through this if they don't break this system. Officer Lohman was fired nearly three years after Rice's death for lying on his application. The family is demanding more information after an October New York Times report that DOJ supervisors denied career prosecutors' 2017 request to use a grand jury to gather evidence in their investigation. It's just still so hard when you think about that and seeing that poster for Tamir Rice, 2002 to 2000. 14, 14, 12 years old. 12, that's what I was about to Short. say. You know? 12 years old. You know, in 2014 yeah. was also when Eric Garner was killed in yeah. New York and Michael Brown and Ferguson. Yeah, really started galvanizing the Black mm -hmm. Lives Matter movement.